Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a big day today for two dozen people and their families here in Lincoln. After years of waiting, they officially became U.S. citizens. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto was at the ceremony and joins us live with some of their stories. Veronica? New Americans from different countries were naturalized today in a short ceremony at the Robert B. Denny Federal Building and U.S. Courthouse. Some have been living here for over two decades. We talked to them and they shared their stories. And may God bless your new country, the United States of America. U.S. District Judge John M. Gerard presided over the ceremony. Maria Beltran was one of the new Americans naturalized today. She came to the United States from Guatemala 27 years ago, looking for a better future for her children. She wanted them to have the life she couldn't have when she was growing up. It's, this country changed my life to me and to my kids. Daisy Beltran, Maria's daughter, was born in the United States and says she is grateful for what her mother went through. She says she has been able to graduate from high school and, like her brother, graduate from college. Just the opportunity of free education and being able to go to school and just completing high school. I know with my parents they weren't able to do that because in Guatemala you have to pay for those opportunities. You know. Like Maria, 23 other people became American citizens today. They came to our state from countries like Sudan, Guatemala, Mexico, Iraq, Cuba, Burma, Iran, and Vietnam. All of them with their own stories. Erhtem Biravji, originally from Iraq, says he's been living in Nebraska for 12 years. From having nothing, he's now a business owner. I started from zero. When I came here, I had only one dollar in my pocket. But now I have business. During the ceremony, family members were there to witness the big event. Blanca Heredia had her whole family with her during this important moment. I feel like, like free. I feel, I feel like uh, I feel a different person. I don't know why, but I'm so happy. Heredia says she took the decision after over 30 years of being a resident. She said she is proud of being part of this country whose husband and son served in the military. Thank you for coming today. Congratulations. In order to become a U.S. citizen, you have to study a lot of American history, our Constitution, there are background checks, and you have to go through interviews. After the ceremony, Judge Gerard invited new Americans to register to vote, a right gained after being naturalized. Such a heartwarming story, Veronica. Very well done, and congratulations to each and every one of them.